Today, I want to go over the word informant. To be perfectly clear, I agree. It most definitely can apply to anyone who gives the FBI or law enforcement agencies information. However, there are different categories of people who cooperate. To begin with, a cooperating witness, which I was considered, is someone who agrees to testify as per their agreement with the U.S. Attorney's Office. There's no hiding that person's identity because they're called as a government witness during a trial. Next, there's a confidential informant, someone who provides law enforcement with information and also at times records conversations. Greg Scarpa, for instance, was a confidential informant, but considered to be a high-level informant, and that's someone who's either in a top position or extremely close to those in top positions. In most cases, a confidential informant's identity does not come to light, although more often than not, we learn their identities. And the last category is considered to be an asset, and that's a confidential human source. Just as a confidential informant, they provide information otherwise unobtainable. In fact, they literally become the eyes and ears of the FBI. They collect intelligence and relay it to the handlers at the FBI. In addition, likewise to a confidential informant, they too are known to record conversations. More importantly, sources are known to give real-time information. A source will never be called to testify. As I mentioned, in the past, the identity of confidential informants have become known. But rarely do you learn the name of a source. I've personally been told several times by agents that out of all the five families, they had the most sources placed inside the Lucchese family.